Yeah, guys, we're going to get back to business. Today's story, something a little bit different. It's a bit difficult with auditing with the uh, lockdown, but it's getting lifted very, very soon, so we'll be back on it. So today, um, I'm, I need to publish a story. Huge demand for this story. And it's uh, based around a man from Scotland, Alan Marshall, who was serving time in HMP Edinburgh. Story goes, he were in HMP Edinburgh, I've read up a lot on this story, guys. I've read up a lot on this story. This is the reason that I went to Scotland. And I went there, and a lot of people, they just thought that I went there to cause trouble or to get a prison audit or whatever. I could have gone anywhere in land. I read this story, and it brought me out. In this video, I will be showing you CCTV footage of 13 prison officers murdering Alan Marshall quite distressing so there will be a warning before that and also at the end of the video there is going to be footage of me at HMP Edinburgh and if you haven't seen the video if you have seen the video maybe you can see it a little bit differently so maybe you can understand me from a, a different point of view because when I read up on this story of Alan Marshall um, and I, I actually seen the CCTV footage it, it's actually disgusting and, and what's more disgusting and the actual reason I did actually go there is because inquiry all of the, the all of the prison officers involved some reports say there were 14 some reports say 13 some say 11 so we'll say 12 all of those 12 officers w was told before the inquiry that they're all exempt from prosecution now basically what happened is Alan's is in the shower room you don't know what happens when when they go into the shower room, but you you see all of them run into the shower. Anyway, I'm going to show you the I'll show you the clip now, and then after the clip, I'll show you uh, my reaction to when I uh, discovered this case and when I went to HMP Edinburgh. So respect, guys. Something really needs to be done about this, guys. Something really needs to be done. A lot of exposure needs to be shed on, on this subject because this family is still suffering. Still suffering in 12 months for theft and fraud, albeit. Right, you can clearly see on that video, right, they're saying that he died of natural causes. They literally put a towel over his face and the family believe that were part of the reason that he died, but they're saying that he died of natural causes at Sockton Prison, HMP Edinburgh. They've denied the family legal aid. They've lost the son. He was a petty criminal. Um, apparently had ADHD. He was a bit out there. He was probably rebelling against them. How dare they put down that he died of natural causes like that? Six years later, no justice. Mum and dad campaigning left, right and centre. And, and, and guys, this happens up and down the country. Everywhere this happens, I've seen this happen multiple times, not to this extreme. I've seen this happen multiple times all across the prison service and, and that's the reason that I attacked them and went out auditing them and I'm going to carry on doing it as well. Because six years later, they're still denying or, or not accepting responsibility and, and letting that family rest, letting Alan rest anyway. It, it's absolutely shocking and the way I got treated when I went to Edinburgh Prison to like 
you know, speak out about it and audit the prison because of that. The way that the guards treat me, you can tell what the prisoners have got. I've got one guy, he messages me constantly, um, Chris, are you doing Edinburgh prison? You need to come back to Edinburgh, come back to Edinburgh. Not a nice place, guys, not a nice place. So anyway, I'm going to end this video with a clip of my prison audit. So respect, guys, I will publish a few more videos like this. This is out of respect to Alan's family. A lot of people have requested me to do that. So I've done it now. Uh, that's for Alan. That's for people of Scotland and Alan's family. Anybody who watches this video, if you've got a channel, with my permission, you, you're allowed to mirror this video. So you're allowed to share this video on your own page. So big respect, guys, and thanks for watching. Drinking love from the eyes of her daughters Where freedom expires amid softness and sighs Guys, 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 so we just landed at HMP uh, Edinburgh. Long way to get here, an awful long way. Yeah, so this story about Alan Marshall, right? It says that like up to 11 uh, prison officers attacked him in segregation unit in block, right? And um, yeah, they've like set about him and ended up, ended up killing him, right? But do you know what, right? Do you know what's sickening about that? It was the first case in five years, right? Where all the officers on, on the inquiry, they were told before the inquiry, right, that they won't be pursued and they won't be prosecuted. Right, I've got, I've got rid of that bean now. Listen, all I'm trying to do, yeah? This is prison property. Why are you so aggressive, man? Come. Listen, there's, there's no need for this, right? I'm just doing a story on Alan Marshall, guys. All right. Listen, you're held accountable. You're held accountable, so don't be good up to me. All right. Can you tell me where public is, yeah? Because I've just seen people up there. Listen, move back then. Don't come close to me like that. Stop coming close to me. I'm going off at property, yeah? Um, I need to... Wow. I'm not a security risk, mate, because I'm on... Listen, guys, I've been in touch with prison service, yeah? No, listen now. Stop doing that. Stop it. Don't violate me. Don't violate me. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a prisoner. Put your hands on me. I will, I will be. What for? What crime? Listen then, there's houses there. Are there prison houses? How does that make sense? How are they prison houses? They're, they're, it's accessible. It's accessible by public, yeah? Listen, I've been up there and I've seen people walking dogs, so I didn't know. All right. You are the Is this what you did to Alan Marshall? Did you do this to Alan Marshall when you killed him in block? Hey, did you kill Alan Marshall? Did you kill Alan Marshall? You can't have the team that killed Alan Marshall. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, guys. Absolutely. Where's public property so I can do my story? Show me then. I can't, I'm not trespassing, yeah? Yeah, well, show me. Yeah, anything to say about the death of Alan Marshall when 11 of you guys killed him in segregation block? Uh, you've heard it all before. It's disgusting. And you've got nothing to say about it. Stephanie Frank bringing drugs into prison. I don't want to see it, please. I'm making you famous, mate. That's what I'm doing. I'm making you famous because Stephanie Frank... What? Are you famous? I don't know you. You're not famous. You're not... Listen, you will, you'll be on there tonight. How come the 11 officers are not held accountable for killing Alan Marshall? How come the 11 officers are not held accountable for killing... How come you're not held accountable for killing people? How come you're not held accountable for killing people? How come you were exempt from the inquiry, uh, from prosecution for killing people? Uh, murderers. Murderers. You should be locked up. Listen, I'm going round the other side anyway. Corrupt prison officers. Murderers. Put it in writing. I put it in right into Scotland's prison service, you dirty murderers. Dirty murderers! 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 Corruption! Corrupt prison! Murderers! Wow! Come here. No. All right. Thank you. Yeah, what are you doing? Got it. How come you're coming up to me again like that? You're on public now, mate. Good. Come up to me then again like that. Come and try and move me from public. Bullies, man. Listen, I'm just going to answer a couple of questions and I'll go. 
All we're, all we're doing, mate, is a quick story on what happened to Alan Marshall. Yeah, we're not saying that all prison officers have done that, yeah? But why, why are the prison officers that done it not held accountable? It's intimidation, this. I don't understand why you can't just answer a couple of questions. I didn't realise, yeah, that that was private property. I didn't realise what you stood there like that for, trying to intimidate me. I'm on a public path. Yeah, you're yourself. trying to, mate. You've already done it about three times today. It's out of order. All I want to do is do my story. Can you leave me alone, please? Absolutely incorrect, mate. Very, very yeah, you're absolutely... You're absolutely incorrect. I've already been in touch with Police Scotland about it, what I'm doing. You've been touching them very shortly. Yeah. It's animalistic what's going on, mate. The overcrowding and stuff like that. You've got what to say about that?